The magician pulls a card out his phone and he pulls the silk through the middle of the screen. The phone goes inside the bottle and the phone screen turns from being normal to being warped. The magician visually removes the torchlight from his phone multiple times. The icons fall off the screen onto the magician's hand. I'm also going to teach you the same phone trick that David Blaine used to fool Jeff Bezos. This is one of the best tricks ever, so make sure you learn how to do it. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the channel everyone. Oscar Owen here, and in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you 10 amazing magic tricks that you can do with a mobile phone. I think the wonderful thing about phone magic is you always carry your phone on you, which means even if you learn just a couple of these magic tricks, you'll have the ability to amaze anyone you want with something that's always in your pocket. So if you're ready, let's go to the card table and learn these amazing magic tricks. The magician asks the spectator to think of any card. They think of the two of clubs. He then waves his hand and a card appears on the screen. The magician then pulls that card into reality. This is hyper visual. He then opens it up and it's the two of clubs. In order to do this trick, you need to have a folded up playing card and this image and this image. I've left a link down in the description to where you can download these. So download them and then make sure the black image, completely black, is on the right and the black image with the card in it is on the left. Now what you need to do is force the spectator to select the card you want to produce. There's loads of ways to do this, so I'm not going to go into it here. But in this case, I would have forced the spectator to pick the two of clubs from a different deck. Then what you do is you pick up your phone and you have this image already on your phone like this and you place the folded up card behind your phone. Now all you need to do is come in with your thumb and pull the image to the left and as you do it, you're also going to be dragging this card from behind the phone. So you just pull the image to the side and it looks as if you're pulling the, uh, the card out your phone. Then you can turn your phone off and reveal the card that they selected or thought of is the card in your phone. The magician shows his phone screen to the spectator. He then spins the phone and everything becomes warped. All the apps are skewed in the wrong way. This is a strange and fun illusion. This is a really easy effect to do. All you need to do is download the video that I've left in the description and all it does is has a home screen that looks normal then after five seconds the screen turns like this. So download the video then press play, wait for five seconds and on the fifth second you spin the phone like this. You see, you time it like that, and the phone screen looks as if it's now warped. The magician slowly and cleanly pulls the silk through the phone. You can learn this trick in less than 30 seconds. Here is how. This magic trick requires some silk, a phone, and this little bit of plastic here that costs about you know one dollar off the internet. I'll leave a link to where you can buy some. Get the plastic and you can see it's got a hole going through the middle of it and I've put some tape on three of the edges. Then what you're going to do is you can download this image from the description as well. Place this onto your phone screen. And as you can see, this really hides the, um, the plastic, the illusion behind it. So it looks like there's nothing on your screen. To make things easier, I'll turn off that image so you can see what's going on. What you're then going to do is take the silk and thread it through the hole of the plastic. You then stick this back down and you push only a little bit through the hole and then you put the rest of it over the top like that. And the way this illusion works is you're only, all you're doing is you're pulling the silk under the phone like this. But when you've got that image on it, it really looks as if you're pulling the silk right through the phone. Before I teach you the next trick, I just wanted to quickly mention that my book is being released in the USA at the end of this month and is also being released a little bit later elsewhere just because of COVID and shipping issues. And for those of you who don't know, this is a book that teaches over 50 amazing magic tricks with cards, coins, everyday objects and so much more. And I've handpicked these tricks to make sure that they're really powerful and visual and are guaranteed to amaze anyone that you show them to. So it took me well over a year to write the book and if you get it now at its pre-order price, 
price. It's really, really cheap to buy. I think it's only about $12 right now for the pre-order and it will arrive well before Christmas. So go and check it out at the first link in the description. Um, if you get it, it really does help support the channel and you'll also learn some amazing magic tricks as well. The magician has a phone and a deck. He places the phone onto the table saying it has a prediction on it. He then shuffles and cuts the deck, then tells the spectator to deal down cards and stop whenever they like. This is a free choice. The spectator stops and the magician uses his phone to mark the card that they stopped at. This prevents him from changing the card. The magician then reminds the spectator that they could have genuinely stopped at any of these other cards, but the one they stopped at was the Queen of Diamonds. The magician presses his home screen and the Queen of Diamonds is revealed. This is a brilliant effect that uses playing cards and a phone. So take the card that you want to reveal, turn it face down, and if you have an iPhone, photograph it making sure live view is on. So take the photo, then quickly flip the card around like that. If you don't have an iPhone and don't have live view, then take a photo of the card face up. Then what you're going to do is turn this into your wallpaper. So go to settings, wallpaper, choose new wallpaper, all photos, and then select the photo. Take the card you just photographed and place it face down behind the phone like this. Take the phone and the card and place them on the edge of the table. Now what you want to do is shuffle the cards and then let the spectator deal down as many cards as they like, it really doesn't matter. And they can stop whenever they want to, let's they say stop here. Put the rest of the cards away and pick up your phone and the card and place them on top of the deck and just say we're going to leave this here so I can't change your card and we're going to mark it using the phone. What you've actually done is deposited the extra card on top of um, their pile. You need to distract them from this pile for a couple of seconds to just show that they could have chosen any of these other cards and then pick up the pile and say here's the card you selected, the ten of spades. Then what you do is you force press on your home screen and obviously the card flips over and it's the ten of spades and that's how the magic trick works. The icons fall off the screen and into the magician's hands. This is super visual. This is a really simple magic trick. Firstly, cut out all these little icons. I've left a link to where you can download them in the description. And then also download this video, which is five seconds of normal screen, and then five seconds where the screen turns blank. Then all you do is put this hand below the camera frame and press play on the video. After five seconds, all the icons will disappear and in your head count to five, and that's when you throw the phone down and bring this hand into frame. When you do these two things together, it creates the very convincing illusion that the icons have moved from the virtual world into the physical world. I'm now going to teach you the same effects that David Blaine used to fool Jeff Bezos. I'll give you a full performance of the trick and then a tutorial. The magician has a phone and a deck. He tells the spectator to touch the back of five random cards. This is a genuinely free choice. The spectator can choose any cards they like. The magician leaves the spectator's selection sticking out the deck and then pulls them out. He then puts the rest of the deck to the side and counts out all five cards. He then opens the calculator app and asks the spectator to type any three digit number into the screen and then multiply that by another three digit number and then multiply that by another one. This obviously creates a very random number that hopefully matches the cards that the spectator chose. The cards are then turned over and the first is a seven, then a six, then an eight, then a four, then a 10. Go into your deck and remove the following cards, a four, a three, a five, an eight, and a 10. Then open up your calculator app and type in those, uh, those numbers. Then you add zero and multiply it by zero. What this means is it doesn't matter what you add or multiply it by, if you multiply all these numbers and you press equals, 
it's always going to equal 435810. So this is a force number. Now this is set in the calculator, you leave it to the side. Then what you do is you take a deck of cards and you need to force all of these cards in this order on the spectator. There's multiple ways to do this, you can do it individually if you know how the way to do that, but the way I did it in the performance is I turned all the cards over, so the four's in the top, the 10 is on the bottom, and you place all of these cards on the bottom of the deck and you keep a pinky break. Then let the spectator touch the back of five cards, so that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's five. And you're keeping your pinky break under, under the cards that you just selected and you've got these five cards sticking out. Then twist the cards to the side like this, and then here's what's gonna happen. You've got a pinky break under this these cards here and you've got these five cards st sticking to the side. Come over to collect these cards and as you do, bring these cards underneath them like that and then strip them out. So now you've got the five cards the spectator chose and your five cards underneath. Then what you do is simply when you're putting the deck aside, you've still got that break there with your little finger, you just come over, pick up these cards and place them to the side. You've now forced the spectator these cards here. Then what you're going to do is you, you should display these cards, allow the spectator to multiply any numbers together um, and you see what you get. You realise that this is the numbers you get, so you get 4, 3, 5, 8, 1, 10 and then you do one by one, go 4, 3, 5, 8, 10 and that's how the magic trick works. The magician has a phone and a bottle. He pushes the phone right inside the bottle. The phone is stuck inside. The secret behind this effect is very simple. Simply cut a giant slit in the side of the bottle with a knife. Make sure your spectator is in front of you and then turn the slit so it's facing your phone. This way they won't see it. Now push the phone through the slit. Show that it's really in there. Then say that you want to get the phone out and take a knife and pretend to cut into the bottle, but really all you're doing is just putting the knife through the existing slit. This way you can open up the bottle and remove their phone and end completely clean. They won't ask to inspect the bottle before the trick because they don't know what's about to happen. The magician has a glass of water and some virtual water on his phone. He then pours the virtual water and turns it into real water. This is quite an impractical effect, but I thought it was a bit of fun, so I included it in this video. What you need to do is get a water simulator app, so you can get these on iPhones and Android, and then let half the water run out so you're near the bottom. Then turn around and hold the a glass of water that can fit behind your phone like this. Then what happens is all you're going to do is pour the water into the cup from behind the phone and from the front point of view it creates the illusion from the right angle that you're actually pouring water from the phone into the cup. The magician removes his phone torch and then puts it back on multiple times. This is the ultimate party trick as it works really well at night or when it's dark. This is a really fun magic trick to do at parties or nighttime because it uses the medium of light. So all you need to do is get a thumb tip like this, I think they cost like three pounds or something, and what happens is when you press the end of the thumb tip, a light appears. Now what you're gonna do is go on your phone, turn on the torch, and very simply, you put the torch on, like this, and then you pretend to take the torch, and as soon as you do that, you turn the torch off, and then you can pretend to throw it back on, off, on, and it's a really simple, easy, and amazing effect. And from the front view, it really does look as if you're taking a light and then throwing it back on.